Hey everybody, in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly link from one page to the other by using Dreamweaver CS4's WYSIWYG or what you see or what you get click and point tools. It's quite useful. So I have a basic site here, just an index page. So let's uh, create a new page. And you know, I'm going to go, well, I'm just going to right click. I'm going to go new file. I'm going to call it uh, about. This would be the about uh, us web page. So I'm just going to go on to the about page. And if you're familiar with Dreamweaver, this is code view. So I'm just going to go into design view. I'm going to say about us. It's very simple. Change the title to about us too. And you see we got a star. So that means we have to save it. So I'm going to control save or it's going to go file save. So we save that page. So now I'm going to go into the index file. I'm just going to call it home for now. Well, you know, I'm going to say uh, killer staff. And um, okay, that's no good. Killer sites. All right, so we're going to say uh, main menu. You know, I'm not trying to demo how to create a beautiful looking site here. I hope that's clear. This is just to show you uh, some tools within Dreamweaver. This is a series of quick videos, that's all and uh, save that. So what I want to show you is this properties bar down here at the bottom of the screen. So let me just put this into camera view for you guys. Here you go. So what I want to do is I want to create a link, a hyperlink from about this, excuse me, from this index page, index here, to this page. So there's many ways to do this in Dreamweaver, but the easiest way is to use this properties bar at the bottom here. Now you have you can collect these main buttons here that changes things that are going on here. So this CSS button allows you more control about controlling the CSS in the page. Yeah. And in this button here, the HTML button allows you to do some basic HTML stuff. So let's uh, first create a link. So we're going to hit the about. And I just selected it. You see this little wheel here? Point to a file. So you go like this. You point to a file, your little highlighted box. So I'm just point to this file about. There you go. Now you see it turns into a link, right? Underlines. And then we get a little star which tells us we should save this page. So you go file, save. And uh, there you go. That's how you can easily create links with Dreamweaver CS3. Well, let's create another link. We're going to create a new page. We're going to call it uh, products. So we need we actually need a page here. So you know let's uh, create a page here. I'm going to shut this HTML page for now. So I'm going to save this. Control save. I know that because you go to the uh, file menu, you see Control plus save. Now on Mac it it's probably Apple plus S. So uh, keep that in mind. So we're just going to close that, and I want to show you how to create a new page a different way. So we're going to go create new. Now, if this page is not open, this welcome screen, you go File, excuse me, Edit, Preferences. Let me show you something. Go Edit, Preferences. You see this Control plus U? That tells you what the keyboard shortcut is. So I'm just going to use the keyboard. So I'm going to go Control U. See, when you start using keyboard shortcuts to operate your program, people will think you're really cool. And actually, you're going to move much quicker. So what you want to do is you want to um, on the category here, we want to hit, make sure we got general selected. You want to hit document options. You want to select show welcome screen. That's the key. You want to make sure that's checked off. This will only change the next time you launch Dreamweaver though. So if you don't see it now, just click that on relaunch and you should be okay. So I'm going to go cancel that. So we have this welcome screen. I'm going to hit HTML because there you go. We created a page. So I'm just going to call this the uh, products page. So I'm going to go products for the title. I'm going to click Control S for save. Now Dreamweaver pops open this save as box and I'm going to say call it products please. Products. And it's going to save it as type. You know, these are all the types you can save it as. It's quite a few. But if you just leave it as products, it's probably going to default to .html. So let's see what happens. Save. Here we go. You see look over here. Products.html. So I just showed you another way to save and create documents in Dreamweaver. So let's go back to the home page, which is the index page. 
select it again, and we can actually create links by just typing into the uh, into this box here what the uh, name of the pages we want to link to. So I'm going to say products.html, and then you just hit enter, and a link is created. You see, Dreamweaver provides many of the times many different ways to do the same thing. And it really just, just depends on how you like to work. So there you go. We've created links in Dreamweaver and I showed you a couple of different ways to create pages.